Hey guys, it's me, Andrew Ingevet, and today is Friday, September 23rd, 2016. Uh, I actually tried to film another lesson today all about the power of Evernote. I'll get to that. We had some major technical difficulties. But anyway, I have an article below that's all about what to say on your website or your profile. So, as you know, that the world has changed. Everything is moving to the web and people search for music teachers through the web. So what you say either on your own website or in a Yelp listing or on a Google listing or Facebook or even at my uh, Music Color Method website, which you're going to get a profile page soon. I have to finish working on that. You want to have the right things that you say. You want to be able to talk to your customer in a way that is engaging, but also is qualifying your leads to the, well, they, that's what they call it in business, right? I don't want to use too many <laughs> jargon words. A lead is a, a potential client, right? So what you want to be able to do is you want to talk to them in a way that reassures them that you're the right person for them, but also you want to discourage people who are not the right people for you from even contacting you in the first place because it's a waste of your time, right? The worst thing is to have people call you and say, well, tell me about the lessons and how much do you charge and where are you located and tell me, you know, do you know what you're doing, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's something that should be answered already at your web page or your profile it could be your profile even on one of those listing services like Thumbtack or Take Lessons or there's a million of them now. Um, but what you want to do is you want to, you know, qualify these people. Make sure that they're in your neighborhood. They're the kind of people that you want to work with. You know, say you're working only with uh, young children on piano doing the Music Color Method. You want to say, look, do you, <laughs> your child is should be between the ages of four and six or something like that, right? You don't want someone calling you and saying, well, I have a 15-year-old. It, it might be uh, something you want to take, but it's not in your core mar marketing, right? Okay, so take a look below. The article explains several things about how to think about what to say and also um, the kind of like a, an order of things that you want to say. And, of course, the most important thing is what do you want them to do after they've read this? you want them to take action and that action is usually a phone call or an email so enjoy post comments if you have more questions and uh... next week i hope to have a great um, way for you to create your own profile page at the musicalmethod.com all right we're creating a teachers directory all right thanks a lot